I help my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, she nice. Is... How do you say comerciante? She is what? Comerciante. She is a vendor. Vendor? Yeah, vendor. Yesterday I went to to here. Yes, here in Acapulco. Yes. Nice, nice. What what does she sell? Comida relleno. Oh, oh yes. Nice, nice. That's good. I like I like her her occupation. Me too. All right. Yes. Hello, Mayel. Yeah, I'm Israel. Oh, Ismael. Okay, okay. I was like, him is my yet. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Is that your nickname? My LJ? Yeah. Cool, cool. Welcome, man. Thank you for being early. Well, guys, last, last week, um, I think it was only Jackie and I and Yasmin, right? Only us three. But the, the lesson that we saw was, it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. Um, so let's begin with the homework. Yasmin, did you do it? Yes, I tried. Okay, well, let's begin with the homework. Yes, I mean, how much does your mom sell the bolillo with relleno? 18, 20, 20. 20. Yes. That's nice. Does she put avocado in it or only the relleno? No. Without avocado. Where in, in Rena or in a different place? Cano Largo? Do you know Cano Largo? No, no. Behain Plaza Sendero? Oh, really? In Coloso? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's close. That's cool, that's good. One day I need to go visit her. I, I love relleno. I love it. My aunt, uh, Sal. In Coloso. Your aunt. So it's her, her, your mom and your aunt? Maybe uh, Andres saw my aunt. Maybe. Because oh, she, yeah. she, she. Lives? She sells. Vende? She, she sells, uh huh. She sells a lot of relleno. Oh, maybe, maybe. You what? Where does mean? Where is she? Yeah. In front of the restaurant Las Carmelitas. But where? Coloso? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Andres, come on, man. You like relleno. Yeah, but when I, when I want 
relleno I go to Colosio. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You have a you have a specific location where you like to buy your relleno. Yes. But if your cousin or your family your family have a good relleno, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the best. Oh, it's the best, it's the best in Acapulco. Yeah. O only pork or also chicken? Both. Oh, my gosh. Variety. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's what I love. I love, I love, I love. Hello, Miss Flores. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Do you like bolillo con relleno? Yes, I love. All right, welcome to my class. So, we are on page 26. We are going to support Yasmin's family and their relleno. We're going to go one day, vamos a hacer un field trip. We're gonna, we're gonna get a blue taxi and we're going to go to get some relleno. her family. We're gonna get a, a suru. Mm -hmm. Special special taxi. All right. Well we're on page 26. We are checking the homework. Unit four socializing party time. What are you supposed to do? Look at the pictures. Complete the sentences with be supposed to and an appropriate verb. Use negatives where necessary. Okay, the first exercise is a little confusing, okay? It's a little confusing, but let's begin. Number one, Ismael. Can oh. you read number one, please? Oh, yeah. Um, what are you supposed to do? I'll read the instruction or the... Yeah, number, no, number one. Okay. Your... Uh, you're not supposed to park on the street. <laughs> you're supposed to park in the parking lot. Close to park in the parking lot. Nice. Number two, Yasmin. Um, they're not supposed to wear shoes. Okay. They're not supposed to. They're not supposed to wear shoes inside. Okay. What else? I don't know. That one is difficult, right? Let, let, let me help you. Take off. Yeah, they're supposed to take off their shoes. Take off is like okay. move. And number three, Jackie, did you do it? Yes. All right, number three, go ahead, Ms. Flores. Okay, she's supposed to go at the dentist. Okay. Go and to at the dentist. She's not supposed to go home. Okay. Now, I see, I understand why you put that. I understand. But 
according to my book, it is this. All right. It can't be go. Because go to is the verb, not go at. So basically, if I say she's supposed to go to at the dentist, it wouldn't make sense. And she's not supposed to go home. Well, she is home, so it wouldn't be correct there. But I understand. I, I don't like this exercise, but I like to see what my students put. This is what it's supposed to be. She's supposed to be at the dentist. Debería de estar en lentista, no debería de estar en casa. All right. And number four, Yasmin. He's supposed to make his room. Okay. He is not supposed to call on the phone. Call on the phone. Look, Yasmin, don't, don't say call on the phone. Say talk on the phone. That is the expression, right? Very good. Thank you. And I am sorry for um, not explaining this difficult exercise. And number two, it was supposed to be a nice weekend. Jackie? Complete the email with the correct form of be supposed to or was we're going to. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. I read the text. text. Yes. Hey, Jane. I had a terrible weekend. From Saturday morning, I was going to, was supposed to go running with a friend because the weather was going to be nice. But it's raining and she didn't come. She emailed me and work. I was going to come, but when I saw the weather, I decided to stay in bed. Sorry. Then my parents came over to my apartment. They were two hours early. They were supposed to come at one o'clock but they came at 11 o'clock the apartment was a complete mess they took me to that new mexican place on rock street have you been there it was supposed to be really good but it was completely broken i didn't realize that you were supposed to make Reservation. So, when we try an Italian place across the street, that was nice, but I didn't know my pasta dish and shrimp in it. I'm allergic to shrimp and I was supposed to avoid it, so I got sick. Now is the worst part. I was supposed to go to a party on Saturday night, but I couldn't because I still feel sick. I sure hope next weekend will be better. Take care, Ali. Very good, very good. All right, so there are some mistakes. Um, I think the first one is this one. Okay, right there, it is supposed to be really good. Supposed to be really good. That's because it is talking about the present, okay? Dicen que está rico. You know, they say it's really good. 
and I didn't realize that you are supposed to make reservations. It's the present because it's something that you need to do like all the time, okay? And I'm allergic to shrimp. I'm supposed to avoid it because it is something that is very true in the present. And the worst part is I was supposed to go to a party. Yes, that was the past. We're going to play a little game with this supposed to because with, with these activities, it's a, it's a little confusing. And um, there are easier ways to do this. But right now, let's just finish the homework quickly so we can do that. Next, complete the conversation with the correct form of be supposed to or was we're going to. Sometimes more than one correct answer is possible. Yasmin, Christy, and Jackie, Zach. I did in this page. You didn't do this page? No? No. Did you, Jackie? Yes, only the first exercise. What do you mean? Uh, the number three. I was supposed. I did. I don't do the about you. Oh, okay, four. okay. Well, how about this? You are Zach, and I am Christy. Okay. Okay. Hi, Zach. Are you going to Isabel's party tonight? Yeah, I'm actually, I was supposed to meet, to meet, was going to meet my parents for dinner, but they canceled, so now I can go. Great. I'm supposed to pick up San, San Jay at seven. Do you need a ride? Sure, thanks. No, I can remember. Were we going to bring anything like food or drink? No. Only if you want to. I'm not going to. I was. I was, hold on, hold on, let me get this. No, okay, yes, I wasn't going to make anything, but maybe I will if I have time. You should make those chocolate chip cookies you broke to the last party. They were awesome. Yeah, they are pretty good, but they have nuts in them. Isabel isn't supposed to eat nuts because she's allergic to them. Right, maybe you should just make a sugary cake or something. Good idea. Oh, and don't forget to bring your bathing suit and a towel. The weather's supposed to be great tonight, and Isabel's pool is beautiful. Sounds like a plan to me. Beautiful. All right. Now, everybody, right now, I want you to get a piece of paper or get your notebook. And you're going to copy down these questions that I'm going to write. All right. These are my questions.
Okay, so please copy down these questions into your notebook and leave some space so you can answer them. Okay, I am going to answer these questions using my personal information and um, you answer them, but you use your own information. Okay, so this is my information. I want you to take maybe two or three minutes to write answers using your own information. All right? And then we're going to take turns sharing it. Do you have any questions, guys? No, it's okay, teacher. Okay, all right, I'll give you two minutes. I'll be waiting for you. Ismael, please.
Okay. Guys, are you finished? I see Andres is finished. Yasmin, Ismael, and Jackie, how are you? Ready. Ready? Yasmin, good? Yes, sir. All right, cool. And Ismael? Yeah. Yes? All right, cool, cool. So just so you can practice, um, you know, the, the speaking, I am going to put you in, in the different rooms. All right, I'm going to put Ismael with Jackie and Andres with Yasmin, okay? I want you to help each other, you know, ask the question, answer, and ask a follow-up question. For example, um, what are you supposed to do tonight? Oh, I'm supposed to watch a movie on Netflix. Really? Which movie are, are you supposed to watch? Oh, I'm supposed to watch um, Eight Miles. Oh, okay, okay. So you like m and m and but continue the conversation, okay? And I want you to continue the conversation for five minutes. Okay, we're going to start at five thirteen. So at five eighteen, I want you to speak until five eighteen. And if you don't and if you finish the activity, speak about something else, be creative start a conversation okay and i will be entering your rooms to see if everything is okay all right so let's begin with the breakout rooms Okay, please enter your breakout room. Perfect. Okay, so that is our objective for today, to discuss socializing using get expressions. Now guys, for this lesson, I want you to be very patient. Be very, very, very patient because these expressions that we are about to see are extremely common in English. But sometimes it's very difficult to understand because they are very American. And sometimes you can't translate them. Okay, you have to use context. These expressions right here are extremely common. Extremely, extremely, extremely common. Get. I don't know if you see the page. It says get off, get out of it, get it, get over, get going, get away with, etc. All of these expressions with get, they are used all the time. And the funny thing is that get, <clears throat> get has more than 32 meanings. O sea, get se puede usar en 32 diferentes formas, formas diferentes. Get, 32 different meanings. Un verbo se puede significar 32 cosas. All right. Now, 
Right now, before we begin the lesson, I want you to take a deep breath. Trust me, take a deep breath. You know, inhale. Exhale. Relax yourself. Bring the oxygen to your brain. All right, so I know I can't see you and I, I can't hear you, but do it. Trust me, trust me. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Now, let's begin. What is the title of this lesson, Yasmin? I don't know. The title of the lesson. You can't see it? Here, let me We're going to get, we've got to get going. We've got to get going. Yes. We've got to get going. That means we need to love, we need to go. We've got to get going. So look at the picture. There are two people. Okay? There are two people and the guy looks a little worried, right? He's a little worried. He's looking at the time. And the woman, she looks a little worried too. So these are the questions that I want you to answer when we are listening. One, where are Luis and Rosa going? Where are they going? And two, do they wanna go? Do they wanna go? So listen to the conversation. We've got to get going. One, building vocabulary and grammar. A. Listen. Where are Luis and Rosa going? Do they want to go? Practice the conversation. Rosa, it's six o'clock. We're supposed to be there by seven o'clock. Weren't you supposed to get off work early today? Well, my boss called a meeting and I couldn't get out of it. I had to go. Anyway, I don't get it. Why is your cousin getting married on a Friday and not a Saturday like everyone else? I don't know. All I know is that my mother will never get over it if we walk in late. So we have to get going. Okay. Uh, do you think I can get away with wearing pants? No way. It's supposed to be a formal wedding. Look, I got your silk dress ready for you. Oh, I'll never get used to dressing up for these fancy weddings. Can we try to get home early? Rosa, I get the feeling that you don't really want to go. Well, I just hope I can get through the reception. Oh, come on. Let's just go and enjoy it. It's a chance for you to get to know my family better. By the way, did you get around to buying a gift? Weren't you supposed to do that? Oops. So, um... Ladies and gentlemen, anybody, where are Luis and Rosa going? Uh, party. To a party? Yeah. What kind of party? Uh, party of the brother. No, not the brother. No. Mm -hmm. It's in the family, yes, but not the brother. A wedding? No. A yeah, it's wedding. a wedding. It's a wedding. But whose yeah. wedding? Whose wedding? Cousin? No, no, I don't wedding. know, teacher. Yes, yeah, it's cousin? Yeah. The cousin's wedding. Oh, yeah. Why well, is your cousin getting married on Friday? Yes. Yes. 
Um, do they want to go? Do they want to go to the wedding? Yes. They want to go, yes? Both of them? Yes, no. Um, they want, um, they want to go. Check it. Read it. Oof. Well, let, let, let's let's begin with one person. Does Rosa want to go to the to the wedding? Yes or no? Rosa. No. No, she doesn't. She's complaining. She says, why is your cousin getting married on Friday and not a Saturday like everyone else? Basically saying, ¿Por qué no es una niña normal? ¿Por qué no se casa en sábado? You know, she does, she's always she's complaining. And she wants to wear pants. And Luis says, no, man, you got to wear a dress. And she says, I'll never get used to dressing up for these fancy weddings. Can we try to get home early? Complaining, complaining. Okay. Well, look, listen and repeat after me. It's okay if your microphones aren't on, but just listen and repeat. Get off. Get off. Get out Get of off. it. Get out of it. Get it. Get it. Get over. Get over. Get over it. Get over it. Get going. Get going. Get away with wearing pants. Get away with your wearing pants. Get used to dressing up for these fancy weddings. Get used to dressing up for these fancy weddings. Get home early. Get home early. Get the feeling that you don't really want to go. Get the feeling that you don't Get really want to go. Get, really want to go. Get through the reception. Get through the, the reception. Get to know my family better. Get to know my family better. Get around to buying a gift. Get around, get around to buy a gift. Okay. So I, I want you to notice something. You know, all of these expressions, they are in bold. You know, bold, like bold black. After, after these expressions, two things happen. You can use a noun or you can use a verb ing. For example, get off work. Yes, work can be a verb, but in this case, it is a noun. Trabajo, no trabajar, trabajo. Get off work. Okay, get out of it. It is a noun. Get over it. It is a noun. Uh, get away with wearing, verb ing. Get used to dressing up, verb ing. So that is a little bit about the, the structure. Um, that is two things. Remember, after these expressions, a noun or verb ing. Verb ing, noun. Noun, verb ing. But that's the easy part. That's easy. The difficult part is understanding the expression. Understanding the expression because here it means one thing, but in different contexts it can mean something else. So I am going to pay, play the audio one more time. Please, 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 please. I want you to, you know, Clear your mind, 
clear your mind. Don't think about anything. Don't think about anything. The only thing I want you to do is just listen and read. Don't think, ah, que significa esto? Ah, que está haciendo mi esposa? Ah, da, 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 da. Nothing. Just listen and read the conversation. Building vocabulary and grammar. A. Listen. Where are Luis and Rosa going? Do they want to go? Practice the conversation. Rosa, it's six o'clock. We're supposed to be there by seven o'clock. Weren't you supposed to get off work early today? Well, my boss called a meeting and I couldn't get out of it. I had to go. Anyway, I don't get it. Why is your cousin getting married on a Friday and not a Saturday like everyone else? I don't know. All I know is that my mother will never get over it if we walk in late. So we have to get going. Okay. Uh, do you think I can get away with wearing pants? No way. It's supposed to be a formal wedding. Look, I got your silk dress ready for you. Oh, I'll never get used to dressing up for these fancy weddings. Can we try to get home early? Rosa, I get the feeling that you don't really want to go. Well, I just hope I can get through the reception. Oh, come on. Let's just go and enjoy it. It's a chance for you to get to know my family better. By the way, did you get around to buying a gift? Weren't you supposed to do that? Okay. Hi. Um, I'm going to explain what these expressions mean. But first, I want you to try to figure it out by yourself. All right. So let's do this exercise. Um, exercise B. Exercise B. Find the find a get expression from the conversation above to complete each example sentence below. Are the sentences true for you? Compare with the partner. Okay. So we're going to use the context and the conversation to help us with the exercise in exercise B. We will do number two and number three together. The rest is up to you. All right. So number one, get off. I usually get off work early on Fridays. I leave about three. Cool. Number two, I don't like to stay at work late. I always try to da -da -da, get home. Very good. Number three. I was so busy last week that I didn't da -da -da, doing my homework. Get used to? No. No. Over. no.
No, I don't know, teacher. No, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Um, but also, don't guess. You know, check the context out. Estaba tan ocupada la semana pasada que yo no tardará hacer la tarea. ¿Cuál expresión es? Tiene un contexto similar a ese. Get to know? Get to know, no. Oh my God. <laughs> Me rindo. Get up. I will help you. What? Get around to. I, I, I will translate this sentence to you. I was so busy last week that I didn't get around to doing my homework. Estaba tan ocupado la semana pasada que no me dio tiempo para hacer mi tarea. What are wrong, teacher? Huh? Why are wrong? It's an expression, man. <laughs> an expression. <laughs> but it's not... No se acerca ni un poquito. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. But, okay. Les voy a dar un poco de historia. El inglés viene de... El inglés es como muy mezclado. Es muy mezclado y es un idioma violento porque por mucha violencia se hizo el inglés que sabemos y que conocemos hoy um, pero antes había un había hay, había inglés para ricos y inglés para pobres este inglés de aquí es inglés de los pobres que usan el get para todos ahora obviamente Eso de los pobres, eso era hace como mil años. Ahorita, pues, las palabras de pobres y las palabras para ricos las usan cualquier persona. Pero esas expresiones con get las usaban la gente pobre originalmente. Um, que eran, que eran los, le decían los Celtics, los Celts, Celtics. Y la gente que usaba uh, las palabras de gente rica era la gente que venía de Francia, porque Francia um, vino y tumbó un poquito a Inglaterra. Uh, por eso, esas expresiones son de gente pobre, y como la gente pobre normalmente no, no es muy intelectual, no es muy, muy inteligente, usaban una palabra para significar muchas cosas, como esto. Y... Um, Eh, lo chistoso es que ahora es más común usar la, el vocabulario de la gente pobre que la gente rica. Pero les voy a dar un ejemplo. Bueno, dos In o Spanish, tres ejemplos. Um, por ejemplo, ustedes conocen la palabra weird, ¿no? Raro. Yes. Weird. Y conocen la palabra strange, ¿no? Yes. Weird y strange es lo mismo. Pero weird es de la gente pobre. Y strange es de la gente rica. Uh, ¿Cuál otra? Mm -hmm. Lawyer, abogado y attorney. Es lo mismo. Pero attorney es de la gente rica. Lawyer es de la gente pobre. Y ah, hay muchos ejemplos así. Y um, estas expresiones son difíciles porque una expresión se puede significar una cosa en una oración y otra cosa en otra oración. Um, la mejor forma de aprenderlo es en contexto. ¿Ok? Por eso yo no sé si, si puedan tomar notas, yo les voy a dar contexto de, um, 
una por una. Okay, but only in English, only in English. And then this exercise, exercise B, you need to do it for homework, okay? So let's begin with, let's begin with, this get off Andres what time do you get off work usually um, six or seven. Okay. Yasmin, what time do you usually get off work? Ten p.m. Okay. And in the past. So get off. Now, get off is usually a reference to your job, to work. Um, usually you say when you exit your job, I get off work at 9 p.m. That means I leave my job at 9 p.m. Andres gets off work at six or seven. Okay, he leaves work at six or seven. Yasmin usually gets off work at 10 p.m. Okay, it's really late. And my wife gets off work at 4 p.m. because she, she goes to work at seven in the morning. Okay, so she works from 7 to, to 4 p.m. And me, I work from 1 to 9. Okay? So that's get off. Get off is to talk about leaving work. Is that one easy? I think that's the easiest one. Yes? Any doubts? No, oh, we get off? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Puse un despertador porque a las seis nos tenemos que salir porque el otro maestro me regaña cuando no nos salimos. All right, so next. Get out of it, okay? Get out of it. Yesterday, I was in a meeting with the teachers. And I wanted to get out of it because it was boring and my family was eating pastor. So get out of it means salirse, you know? Salirse, I want to get out of it.
my young students like to get out of class to waste time in the bathroom. Mis alumnos jóvenes les gusta salirse de la clase para irse a gastar tiempo en, en el baño. It's funny. And me, I want to get out of my house. I want to get out of my house. And uh, I'm pretty sure Jackie too, she wants to get out of her house. Right, any questions with get out of it? No, it's okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Oh my gosh, it's already late. Well, guys, I don't have time to finish explaining this, but I do have a picture and I am going to send you the, can, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes? Okay. I'm going to send you um, um, a page that will help you with the definitions on WhatsApp. And you're going to use it to complete exercise B. That is going to be your homework, okay? Exercise B in the student book, page 36. And if you don't understand the, the worksheet that I send you, please use Google. Use Google. Um, what is the definition of get through it? What are some examples of get through it? <laughs> 